Adia Odom. I'm 34 years old and I'm doing this for the group called Healing Hearts. Um, I placed my son in adoption uh, February 5th, 2011. When I first found out I was pregnant, I was really upset and emotional. I didn't really want another baby. I was living at home with my mom and my sisters and I just thought, oh gosh, how am I going to be able to afford another baby? Um, and my heart just wasn't in it at the time. I was about six months pregnant when I decided to do adoption. I, it actually came easy for me at first. The decision was easy making it, but mm, after it was over with is when I felt the most pain. Um, I just knew that in my heart it was the right thing. I did a lot of praying and and I felt like it was right. I placed him for adoption because I knew um, at the point where I was in my life that I couldn't take care of another child. I was, like I said, I was living at home. I was fighting a drug addiction. Um, I just could not take care of another child. And I thought that it would be so selfish of me if I kept him. If I kept another baby and then my other two would be hurting as well because here I was, a single mom, trying to trying to make it in life and then there I was again, pregnant. It was hard, it was really hard because I kept thinking, oh my gosh, what is he gonna think? Um, is he gonna love me when he gets older? Um, I didn't even know where to begin from, but Mary, Mary Reich is the one that helped me. She helped me all along. <clears throat> it was really hard though, because it was the first time I've ever done anything like that, and I didn't know where to start. Who, where do I begin? So I just got on the internet and I actually Googled adoption centers, and Courageous Choice was the one that popped up, and I just knew in my heart that that was the one that I needed to go with. But yeah, it was really hard. I think um, we can make changes to make the steps a little bit easier. Um, yeah, it was hard. Um, what really was important to me was did they have the same goals, the same aspects that I wanted my other two daughters to have? Um, how do they view, you know, religion? How do they punish their child? What were their goals be for that baby? Um, I was really looking for just the same goals in life. Do they believe in God? Um, I wanted to know, are they going to travel? Are they financially set? Um, I wanted to make sure that they haven't been to prison. Um, I just, I also wanted them to have another sibling as well. I never wanted my son to be alone. I wanted him to grow up having that, that uh, sibling. was I like the fact that they were willing to drive all the way to Texas in a snowstorm. I like the fact that they sent me pictures of them before they even knew I was having a baby. They sent me pictures of their family, their their grandparents, just their whole family tree, what they did in life, where they wanted to go. Um, they sent me pictures of their other son who was really, really sweet. Um, I really enjoyed the fact that they were so both hands-on. When they called me, they would be both on the phone. It was never one without the other. I really enjoyed that they were doing that together as a family. Um, that's what I really liked the most. Um, they answered every question I ever had, even the uncomfortable ones. They were always, always there. What I disliked was nothing. I can't think of one thing that I didn't like about them. Um, the hospital experience was probably is the hardest thing that you're going to go through that I went through. Um, so It got so bad. I was hurting so bad to where I even unplugged the hospital phone. I didn't want to talk to the family. I didn't want to talk to his adoptive parents. I didn't want to talk to my family. And then I kept thinking, 
oh, there's a way I can keep him. I know there's a way. Let me plan it out. And then I got to thinking, man, this family put all their heart and soul into adopting and I couldn't do that to them. You know, they already had the bedroom set up, the crib. They sent me pictures of all of that. And all I could think about is, man, I'm taking the, their baby away. I can't do that. Um, it was real hard. It was, um, I was in the hospital thinking, man, I went through all this for nine months and now I get to go home with empty arms. But it, it was really hard, but I mean, we made it through. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It will be okay. You just gotta go through it to get through it. And, and you're gonna go through it. It's definitely, definitely a struggle. It's not easy. Um, my daughters came up there and we all took pictures. My mom came, she was very supportive. My grandmother came. So it was really nice that some of my family members got to come up there and hold them and see them and be there for us. The nurses and the staff were real nice. They were real understanding. They even brought people up from a different wing uh, of the hospital to see, to meet us, that we were doing adoption. So some of the nurses have never been through that before, and they asked if, if my son and I could be a part of that. And I told them, yeah, you can come in. And they met him. They held him. That some of them even cried with me, which was, which was really cool because some of them said they just couldn't imagine going through that. Um, And it ended up being okay. I think that the adoptive parents need to know that the birth mothers that they hurt, they're gonna that that it, that it's painful. That they need to realize as well that we're also losing a child, um, even though we're even though that they're gaining one, we're losing as well. Um, they need to know maybe that, that it's something that we just don't get over overnight. It took me um, a long time. I think I think that they should also realize that that the pain is really real and that it just hurts. And that sometimes it's not nothing that they can do or say. But that leaving us alone with the baby for a period of time is good for us to heal as well. Not be in the hospital room all the time or be around, you know, when we're trying to bond as well. I struggled with that a little bit. Um, I didn't want the parents in the room. I wanted to be the first one to touch them. But at, in the end, I was feeling like I was pushing them away too because they wanted to bond as well. So I think it's important for them to know that. Uh, there's a lot of pain and a lot of healing that we have to go through and that, um, that our heart is also hurting as well. Um, I don't know really. Um, it's made me a stronger mother, that's for sure. It's made me appreciate the, the two little ones that I have more in life. It's made me realize that that a baby is such a precious thing that, that there's always a way and it's made me realize that life is not easy that there's always options out there um, it's just made me realize not to take things for granted mm -hmm. and that there are people out there that can help and that, that are willing to love and share your stories I don't really know how to answer that question <laughs> Um, what was the question again? <laughs> okay, so I had an open adoption. Um, they definitely send me pictures and updates. Mother's Day is really important. Um, I was snooping one day on their Facebook, and I'll never forget that my son's uh, adoptive dad said that he was most thankful for me. And that really just choked me up the whole day because... I just, uh, in the beginning, it was real hard for us. It was so hard. So I was pushing them away. I was changing my mind about the adoption. I didn't want to do it. And they were in a place where they were hurting as well. And so it ended up being a good thing in the end. I think I answered the question. <laughs> I'm not really good at that question. process is something I deal with every day just not as much as it was yesterday 
Um, it's been eight years. Um, it gets easier with time. Like I said before, you gotta go through it to get through it. And uh, it hurts. It hurts like hell at first. And then, and then tomorrow is a new day. And then the day after that is a new day. You just gotta take it one day at a time. Just know that your baby is being loved. And just because you placed your child up for adoption does not mean you don't love them. You're doing something out of love, something that's selfless, something that not everybody can do every day. And just know that it gets better. It gets better with time. It gets better the more you talk about it. It gets better. The more you cry about it, it gets better. Um, just know that you're not the only one out there struggling. And that you're not alone. <sighs> Words of wisdom. <clears throat> I would say... Don't give up and don't give in. The struggle is real <laughs> and it does, it hurts. But just think of it this way. What is the best thing to benefit your child? What is the best thing to benefit you and your family? For me, it was the open adoption because it's the not knowing that makes it hard. I would always choose open, open adoption. The not knowing, not knowing <clears throat> the way he looks like, the pictures, <clears throat> not knowing what he's doing in life. That's what hurts so. Wisdom, I would say, I would say, just, I don't know what I would say, actually, I don't, I don't know. What would you say? I would say the pictures, the pictures help so much from your adoptive parents. I, um, I would say this. I would say, if it is on your heart to do, then do it. Adoption is the best thing that could ever happen for myself, my family, my kids. Because now, I beat a 10-year addiction. I've been clean eight years and counting. I have a house, I'm married, I have vehicles, I have a great career, I have a great family that backs me no matter what I do. So I would say that adoption is, is a, the most beautiful thing that you could do or go through. And I would say everybody deals with it differently, but you're not alone. We've, we're all here to help. You're not alone. Um, I've also counseled a few girls, quite a few of them. We're still friends today over adoption, and we share our stories and our pictures and our faith. And I would say that um, that adoption is always a choice. You just gotta give it a chance. The pain is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt but it's only gonna hurt for a little while. And in the end, you're just gonna be like, yeah, I have this great son and his parents are taking care of him and it just turned out to be this really beautiful thing in life. And now I'm almost to the point where I can say it without crying because I'm proud of him and I'm proud of my, um, my adoptive family that have become my friends. I would say that his parents have raised him right and are still raising him right. I wouldn't change it for the world, and I stand by my decision. I think um, being my son's birth mother is is a truly one of a kind experience. I get to brag about it. I get to say, you know, yes, I have two daughters, but I also have a third and a son that I got to bless another family with um, that wasn't able to have any more children, that wanted children. And uh, his parents are truly a blessing in my life. They came in and they stuck by our side. They love him just as much as I do. I think being his birth mother is something I'm really, really proud of. It's like winning a, an award. Um, I just, I get to see him grow up through, through words and pictures and I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with that. I feel like if you're gonna, if you're going to do an adoption, either way, open or close is fine, but for me, an open was better. I get to see him grow. I, uh, they have a memory box thing that they have for him that they keep all his pictures of me in and the girls and my family. Um, I want to say being his mom is one of the best things that I could